was a job in that. Fancy an outing to find that shield. What's gotten into you again? Wait and see. I'm talking Just about need to join things with the rivets. We can have the peasants' coops. Pieces will move freely then. You bar me. How may I assist you? Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been at it 20 years now. Mastered the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> Sounds great. Can you make a suit like that? No, but find someone who can and I'll gladly meet them. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch used on Undvik. Joanna! I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. Interesting lilt in your voice. You originally from Skellige? Odd Skellig. Spent my whole childhood in Holmstein. Why'd you leave? Always had a liking for the smithy. I'd sit there all day taking things in. The heat of the furnace, the smell of the hot steel, the pounding hammers. At 17 winters, my dad told me he could teach me no more. Sent me out there into the world. Bid me to hone my craft. A few years on, I had my master crafting papers. Then the war broke out and I landed here. How may I assist you? Went to Undvik a while ago. Found these. Well, goose kick me. These look like the real thing. Because they are. Look at the markings. Authentic. How did you get them? Wasn't easy, so I'm hoping for a good price on that armor of mine. Harman Ep Grönikan, Lieutenant General of the Second Mounted Army. Welcome to our humble establishment. A true honor to host one of such renown. I've heard the General's a connoisseur and collector of armor. This is true, and they call you a master of the craft. All too kind, sir. Truly, I mean, I just... I need a suit of armor. Heavy. Able to withstand piercing projectiles. Piercing projectiles? Oh, bolts, you mean? Oh, that ain't easy. Needs a special alloy. Tempering. The new tools. We can do it. Stoke the fire. I'll ready the rest. Bold, your worker. You allow her much. 
Uh, you know how it is, General. Uh, good help's hard to come by. Uh, we should go outside. There's business to discuss. It's always the same. I've had enough. Enough? They treat me like I'm nobody. The menial labour. Truth is, the Nilf Guardian, the one Fergus is kissing up to, I'll have to craft his armor. Yours too, for that matter. Hmm. So what's Fergus do? Horseshoes, nails, not much else he can do, seeing as he cocks up simple bones. But in the end, they call him Master. No one'd ever think I could be a skilled armorer, a human and a woman to boot. A dwarven blacksmith. Oh, that's another story. If that's the case, stand your ground. Don't let him treat you like this. I won't. Not anymore. He can craft the Nilf Guardian's armor himself. I'll make another suit, and we'll see which one's better. I need but one thing I can't get on my own. Would you help me? Depends what it is. To finish the armor, I'll need to harden it, quench it in a bath. Oil's what we usually use, but I want to use acid. Hmm. Kiki Moors and Arch Griffins spit acid. Arch Griffins? Draconic Griffins, you mean? Baron's men came by a few days back, said they'd seen one north of Crow's Perch. It had killed some folk out there. Bound to be a notice posted for the Griffin anyway. Could kill two beasts with one stone. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Bring me the acid, and I'll prove I'm better than Fergus. And I'll craft armor for you, lots of it. The kind no other armorer can. had a veritable feast. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Heard you had a griffin problem. Oh, I Killed some villagers north of Crow's Perch. Folk came complaining to the Baron. He finally wearied of all the lamenting, offered a reward for the beast's head. Good thing, too. I could use some crowns. Well, folk say all kinds of shite about you lot. But gotta give a witcher his due. Here, fair pay for a fair day's work. The acid? Mm hmm. Use it carefully. It's about as caustic as things come. I know. It's burned many a man where I come from. 
Armor's ready. Now for the last touch. We'll soon see who's better, Fergus or me. Geralt, it's done. Looks very professional. Welcome, General. Armor's all ready. Came out splendid, if I do say so myself. Rather coarse. I trust the appearance does not reflect the quality. General, I've also made a suit, if you please. What is the meaning of this? General Yuan is the master artisan, not Fergus. She crafted this armor to prove it. For God's sake, Yuan! What do you think you're doing? Tamaria remains a wild land, it seems. Insubordination of this kind is not something we Nilfgaardians allow. If I may, General, I am Fergus's subordinate in appearance alone. It's what we agreed, as few would ever believe a woman to be a better armorer than a dwarf. You are right. I, for one, do not think it possible. But you are confident in your abilities. Let us put them to the test. Not on dummies, in live combat. Oh, quite a crowd. You there, put on this armor. Uh, I'm just here to shoe me yours. Mine is not a request. General, I crafted this armor for a man. It can't fit me properly. Then find another to wear it. Geralt, will you help? I want to know more about the test. I ordered armor that would stop bolts. How do you think I intend to test it? Geralt, you've nothing to worry about. This armor will easily withstand a bolt. Acid hardened. They need a ballista to pierce it. Help me, please. Fine. Hope I won't regret this. Don your armor, both. I will await outside. Bloody hell. I just came here to shoe me yours. Like armor that stops bolts? Compensate the man. Now, let us see what this other suit is worth. Gonna live? Ah, oh, I. But this armor's rubbish. Stan, I wish to see the armor. Not even a dent. I am not easily impressed, but I must admit you have succeeded, my dear. Where to, dwarf? You must hear this. The forge is now Miss Joanna's. She will also assume all Nilfgaardian army requisitions. Is that clear? I as day. Your pay for the armor. I will send a man to collect it. I'll be going to my things. Just get my things. Wait. We needn't part ways, Fergus. You've been a good helper. We could go on that way. But without the lie. Hmm. We did make quite the pair. Well then, go stoke the fire. We've got a customer. He needs armor fit for a witcher. You weren't certain the armor would protect you. Admit it. Master craftsmanship something I trust in, something I strive for myself. Wouldn't have asked for legendary tools from Undvik and Archgriffin Acid if you didn't know what you were doing. Thank you for trusting me. Give us a few days and your armor will be ready. Come on, let me help you get out of that. Geralt, good of you to come by. 
What can I do for you? My armor coming along all right? It's ready. I've reinforced the joints and bathed it in acid, as my clan's tradition demands. Thanks. How much do I owe you? Oh, please. I'd not be here if it weren't for you. It's a gift, in thanks for what you did. Take it, and may it serve you well. Thanks. And you take care. <laughs>